With Windows 10 support ending soon, more and more people are finally making the switch to Windows 11. And if you've just upgraded, you might be missing out on some really useful settings hidden in plain sight. These small tweaks can make your computer faster, cleaner, and way easier to use. So let's go through 10 features you should turn on immediately. If this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really supports the channel and helps others discover it too. All right, let's dive right in. Feature number one, snap layouts. This one's perfect if you like multitasking. Whenever you hover your mouse over the maximize button on any window, you'll see a few layout options pop up. Two side by side, three in columns, or even four small windows arranged neatly. It's like having a mini control center for your workspace. Once you pick a layout, Windows automatically resizes and positions your open apps for you. No more dragging and guessing. If you're using a big monitor, this feature is a total game changer. Next up, number two, virtual desktops. Think of them as separate workspaces. Maybe one desktop for work, another for studying, and one just for gaming or relaxing. To access it, press Windows key plus tab, then click new desktop. Each desktop can have its own background and set of open apps, and switching between them is as easy as pressing control plus Windows plus the arrow keys. It keeps your digital life tidy and stops everything from turning into one giant cluttered mess. Feature number three, focus sessions. If you get easily distracted, and let's be honest, we all do, focus sessions can help. Open the clock app and look for the focus section. Here, you can set a timer for deep work, pick how long you want to focus, and even link your Spotify for background music. During a focus session, Windows mutes notifications and helps you stay on track. It's simple, but surprisingly effective for productivity. Now, let's move to number four, nightlight. If you often use your computer late at night, this one's a must. Go to settings, then system, then display, and turn on nightlight. It adds a warm tint to your screen to reduce blue light, which helps your eyes relax and makes it easier to fall asleep later. You can even schedule it to turn on automatically at sunset or set the hours yourself. Pretty neat, right? Feature number five, clipboard history. This one is easily overlooked, but it's super handy. Normally, you can only paste the last thing you copied, but with clipboard history, you can see everything you've copied, text, links, even images. To enable it, press the Windows key plus V and click turn on. From now on, whenever you press Windows plus V, you'll see a list of your most recently copied items. It's one of those small features you'll wonder how you ever lived without. Feature number six, file explorer tabs. If you've used a browser before, you know how convenient tabs are. Now Windows finally has them in file explorer too. Instead of opening multiple explorer windows, you can keep everything organized in tabs. One for documents, one for downloads, one for pictures. To open a new tab, just press Control plus T, just like in a browser. It keeps your screen clean and makes file navigation so much faster. Let's move on to feature number seven, Storage Sense. Over time, Windows fills up with temporary files, cache data, and downloads you don't really need. Storage Sense cleans that up automatically. To enable it, go to Settings, then System, then Storage, and turn on Storage Sense. You can customize when it runs, for example, every week or every month, and what it deletes. It keeps your hard drive healthy and frees up space without you having to do a thing. Feature number eight, dynamic refresh rate. This one's for laptop users, especially if your screen supports higher refresh rates. Go to settings, display, then advanced display, and look for dynamic refresh rate. Unfortunately, it's not supported on all devices, so it's possible you might not be able to enable it. What it does is automatically adjust your screen's refresh rate depending on what you're doing. For static tasks like reading, it saves battery 
by lowering the refresh rate. But when you scroll or play games, it instantly increases for smoother motion. It's a smart balance between performance and efficiency. Feature number nine, Windows Hello. If you have a laptop with a fingerprint reader or a camera that supports facial recognition, Windows Hello is something you should definitely try. It lets you log in almost instantly. No need to type your password every time. Now, I don't personally use it since I'm on a desktop PC without those features, but if you do have them, it's genuinely super convenient. It not only saves time, but also adds an extra layer of security to your system. And once you get used to it, typing a password honestly feels a bit old fashioned. And finally, feature number 10, widgets. Widgets bring together quick information like your calendar, weather, news, and traffic updates in one clean dashboard. You can open it by pressing Windows plus W. It's customizable too. You can remove cards you don't care about and add the ones that matter to you. For example, maybe you want to keep an eye on the weather and your upcoming tasks, but skip the trending news. Once you fine tune it, widgets can actually become a surprisingly useful daily hub. All right, quick recap. We turned on snap layouts for better multitasking, created virtual desktops to organize your workflow, used focus sessions to stay productive, enabled nightlight for eye comfort, switched on clipboard history for easier copy and paste, added tabs in file explorer to stay organized, activated storage sense to keep things clean, tried dynamic refresh rate for smoother performance, set up windows hello for faster logins, and customize widgets for quick info at a glance. Each of these features makes Windows 11 just a little more personal and when you combine them, you get a system that's smarter, cleaner, and just nicer to use every day. Thanks for watching. And if you found this helpful, hit that like button and subscribe for more beginner-friendly tech guides. See you in the next one.